Hey guys, I got something in the mail today that I thought I'd share with you. So let's get it open and see what it is. Okay, I've got it open and it is a 1952 out of San Francisco Silver Quarter. I already have this in my uh, main album, but um, I needed one for my dad's old collection. And this was, this happened to pop up for a really good price. I think I got it for right about melt and uh, I thought that's a good deal so let's get it I fill another hole so let's get that album out and make sure that I do need it okay I've got the album out and I did verify that I did need it and I popped it in there right there 52s looking good one more coin closer to being done with this that will be it for today's short little uh, mail call but we'll catch you in the next one hey guys I got something in the mail today that I thought I'd share with you so let's get it open and see what it is alright I've got it open and I've been sharing these a lot lately but uh, like I mentioned I think in one of my last videos is that I I, uh, I have like a um, notification for these so when I see a good deal I'll buy them so we got a large scent here it's a 1948, I'm sorry, 1848. Let me take out this bag. There we go, it's 1848. In really good shape. Look at that. Man, that's beautiful. The back looks fantastic. So it was a pretty good deal. I think I paid more than this than I normally would, but it was a year I didn't have, and uh, I thought it looked really good, so I went ahead and got it. All right, well, that will be it. I don't have an album for these, so this is just going to go into 2x2 two two for now. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next mail call. Hey, guys, I got a couple things in the mail today that I thought I'd share with you. These are both purchases that I made online. So let's get them open and see what they are. Okay, I've got them both open. Let's take a look at the bottom one first. So this is a foreign coin that I didn't have that I really wanted. It is a farthing, a 1928 British farthing. I don't have any of these and it was a really good deal. I think I paid a buck or two or something like that. Uh, at least I thought it was a good deal and I really wanted one so I got one and these are really cool I, I'm surprised they were so small I thought it would be bigger I'm just uh, used to see the big pennies and half pennies and they're, they're a lot bigger than this this is probably the size of a nickel but um, anyway this is pretty cool I, I really like it okay and then the other thing I got is not a high quality coin but it is a book filler and it was a pretty good deal it is a standing liberty quarter it's really difficult to see the year but you can make out a four in the bottom there and since there is no 14 1914 and there is no 1934 you know it's got to be a 24 so the reason I bought this too is that you can clearly see there's no mint mark no question there so I know it's not a D or an S I know it's a P and I can tell that's a 4, so I know it's a 24. So, this will fill a spot in my album for now. So let me get my album out, and we'll put it in there and see how it looks. I decided I better first take it out of the bag and take a good look at it. And show you guys as well. But you can see the little edge of the 4 there. And uh, these are going to be really hard. Anything before 1920 five is going to be really hard to to get reasonably priced uh, examples of so I saw this and it was I don't know something like somewhere between five and ten bucks I can't remember exactly what it was but somewhere in there and I thought that's a good deal so I went ahead and got it all right let's get my album out all right I got my album out and I put it in there 1924 right there filled another hole that's exciting 
I figured it had been a while since I've gotten uh, gotten one of these. So, um, went ahead and got it. The album's looking good. Still need that 27S over here. And then this page will be done. But uh, that's going to be a difficult one, difficult one to get. All right. I guess that'll wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll add this to my uh, foreign coin map. But uh, we already have the UK on there, so this is not going to add a new uh, map on there. But I'll definitely add the year and the denomination. All right, thanks again for watching, and we will see you on the next mail call. Hey guys, I got something in the mail today that I thought I'd share with you. So let's get it open and see what it is. Okay, I've got it open. I haven't taken anything out yet, but let's take a look. We've got a bunch of dimes here. Looks like all of them here. We got a Merc dime. A 1945 yeah, out of Philly. Yeah, it's in really great shape, too. A 1945 as well. It's hard to read the date, but it is 1945. Uh, S, looks like. And we got two Barber Dimes, which seem to have gotten stuck in the packaging here. There we go. A 1908 D which I believe I already had. And then, what's this one? This one is a 190070, and I believe that's the main thing I was after in this batch, because I needed this one for my album. So let me get my album out and check it and see if uh, I did in fact need it. Okay, I did verify that I do need the 19070, and here it is. It's not in the best of shape, but I'm I'm happy with it. And I get to fill a hole, so I'm excited about that. All right, let's get it in there. Uh, let me clean that out, actually. There we go. I just saw a bunch of cardboard in there, so I wanted to get that out of there. A little cardboard shavings. So there's that. Get that in there. 19070. All right. Got another hole filled. And I just put the extra one down here. The 1908 D. It was a duplicate. I already got that right here. And this one probably has a, a better... Uh, yeah, well, this one's slightly better than the one I just got. That one's pretty worn. And the back looked a lot better if I recall. Yeah, uh, they're, they're about the same, I guess. But the one I just got has a weird, weird lines on it, so that's okay, I'll put it down there. All right, well, another hole filled. Got that 19070 right there. And uh, as for these, I don't think I'll leave them in these loose, uh, Two by twos. I think I'll take them out, put them in my, put them in my tubes. I, I think I can't decide. Maybe I'll just leave them in here for now. They, they're really good shape. They got some nice detail on there. So maybe I'll put them in some nicer two by twos. I don't know. I'll think about it. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next mail call.